Someone took away our old back door. Can you believe it? So I need to make another one. I'm just fixing the frame first. I'm using these tube fixings to anchor into the block wall behind. This is really not the best wood for making a back door, or any kind of door really, but it's from the first log I ever machined with the bandsaw, so it seems appropriate somehow. I'll make it as a memento to myself. Now, before everyone tells me, I know it's going to shrink, okay? I know, and I don't mind at all. The timber is nearly 40% water at the moment, which is why I can hardly lift it. It will dry to around 15% over the next few months and fluctuate around that depending on the seasons. I'm expecting each of these planks to shrink by at least half an inch across their width, maybe more. But with a door like this, you can just cover the cracks between the boards with a batten, just the way people have been doing it for thousands of years. So all I'm doing is edging the planks and butting them up. Crude, but functional. They're way too heavy to manage properly through the bench saw, so I'm using the band saw. I'm going very gently, but I hardly have to pull at all. Cross pieces called ledgers hold the planks together and give me something to attach the hinges to. Now normally on a door like this, they'd also be braced diagonally to stop the planks drooping across the width. But if I use some of this same wet timber for the ledgers and the braces, then the joints would open up as they shrink. So I could make perfectly fitting joints today, and in just a week or two they'd open up and they'd look awful, just because of the shrinkage. So I could wait a few weeks, or try something else. Extra wide ledgers, that's the plan and lots and lots of screws. That should do the trick of triangulating the structure. Traditionally, here at least, they would have used oval nails, bashed right through and then bent over or cinched, which was an excellent way of holding everything tight. But that was in the days before screws became cheap. The hinges themselves should help keep the door together too. I was in two minds about making a latch or a sliding bolt. I went for the latter in the end because it's easier to adjust to keep the door fitting snugly. Latches are nice, but they need some free play to work, which means they can rattle in a place like this. So I'll save them for the inside of the house.
So that's it. I'll put some creosote on it later to finish it off. What do you think? It's a bit crude and rustic, I know, but I quite like it. Now then, does it work? Knock, knock. Who's there? Police. Police who? Please let us in, it's gonna rain. <laughs> Two and four.